My two older brothers went to King Sims School, but then my second Henry, he's still living now, he broke a leg in King Sims playing ground, and uh, possibly my father wasn't very happy about it. And you he had sent... to walk home with the bro with the broken leg. So no, was they, well, they, they, they took a pony up and got him on. Oh right, yeah. yeah. I think Gladys took a pony up and she went over the bridge down, went across lightly, and the pony fell in the river going across the bridge. Uh, with your brother on it? No, that was when the pony before they got there to it. Before they got there. So that was the end of him going to King's Limpton then? That was the end of him going to King's Limpton. Yeah, and then you all went to Chumley? They all went to Chumley because we had to walk to Chumley. So how old were you by then? Well, I don't know, I must have been. Say five or six. I don't. I don't. Just, I was very young then. I know. So at the age of five, you were still yeah. walking all the way to yeah. school in Chumley. Yeah. But you didn't think anything of it. No, you just accepted. There was heaps of others. You see, you meet children that live near the Chumley. But um, one day we come out of school, junior school, and the bus driver was there and said, "You can come on the bus. We've had orders. We can take you to school." We used to walk down to Ham College catch the bus down there. With your school, you rode a pony into South Moulton, didn't you? Well, that was when school. I got older. Uh, that's what I did, yeah. I used to go there f twice a week, a private school. So explain why you went to a private school. I don't know why, why the father's idea, because I mean, the rest of the time, he said I was home in the day, I was out on the farm. That and must have been during the war, mustn't it? Yeah, it could be during the war, because there was short of labour, on so the farm. So you do two days of school and then the rest of the week yeah, on the film. That was the idea, I think, more than... Then you had to leave school at 13, didn't you? 13 and a half I left school. And what were your duties on the farm at that point? Well, I was doing milking cows, just everything. We had to do everything, really. Milking cows, moving stock, looking after sheep. I mean, I always, when I took over farming, I always meant I could do everything. I didn't expect anybody else to do a job if I could. If I couldn't do it myself. So, you know, you had to learn everything, the way to do it, so you knew how, how to do it. It was me and Henry, Henry's still living now. How do you think Henry knew? He showed me. I guess you never knew when you might have to do the job yourself. Oh, well, no, no, you just, you just got on and done it. Yeah. And, you know, we knew, we could, such a wreck, you know, because years ago you put up ricks of corn, hey, yes, same. You had to put thatch on top of them, keep them dry for the winter. Till we, till we come in with a thrash or thrash. Yeah, I've seen old pictures of that, people yeah. um, working up at the top of them. And they had like a big pole that you'd use as a winch, didn't they? A, a oh, a hay pole, yeah, for, 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 for making hay. A horse would pull, pull the, one man, pull the grab of hay up onto the... Of course, sometimes we just pitch it up. But, you know, you, you was used to working. Manual work.